What is going on, my reefing fam? March here, this is Fragbox TV. Somebody asked in one of the comments if we could please do an update on Tia's beautiful Studio 12 all-in-one aquarium. So here is the video. Actually, if you would please do me a favor and comment below, you guys give me the next video idea. We're gonna read through the comments and Tia and myself, hi Tia. How's it going? Tia and myself will decide. We'll go through the comments and we will pick one of the videos and we will do, I mean, sorry, we will pick a comment and we will do a video based on that exact comment. Okay, you wanna give us a little walkthrough? It's looking really good. I have the flow off right now so that we can kinda look from the top. The hammer garden is, wow. It's bumping. It's bumping, yeah, yeah. That, what a great, they're slaps. <laughs> oh, the hammers are slaps. Yeah. That's what the cool kids are saying these days. Check these out. Atomic bomb looking good. Mm -hmm. I think a little bit too much green. I might take Now that you out. say it. Yeah. Now that you say it, I can't unsee it. Yeah, it needs a rose gold This one. one's green. That one's staying. This is green. That one's green. This is, that is that the staying. Irish gold? Uh, I think the other one's the Irish gold one. Uh, oh, look at this. Sure? The clam looks good. That was my addition, huh? Yeah, I kept it. I really liked it. Yeah, you didn't pull it out. I'm so happy. Yeah. We got a clam in here, guys. I paired up my Yasha gobies. Where's the Yasha gobies? When the, the dominant one stays out in the back there. I don't know if that's a no. She's pushing sure. it for fish right now. I Yeah, we're a little... A little... A oh, you little. guys. Oh, that's the other one. Oh, this is a very nice pair of fish. I know. Oh, if somebody wants a wicked deal, actually, these are available online right now, shipping internationally. But look at this. We have these larger versions here. Tank with stand. Check it out. This is a 22 gallon, and this is a 16 gallon. And what comes with a gift card with purchase? These are local only. You got to come pick them up. Stand and tank. Um, that's our sales plug for the day. Let's get back into it. Yasha, hello. Yasha. I love this fish. No. But yeah, there's two of them. There's a very important part to keeping this fish. Lid. Lid. You need a lid. You need a lid. You Take absolutely, it it's not an option. I just took it off for the video. These are our custom made. What are you doing there? I was, I was doing These are our custom made um, lids just for these tanks. You absolutely need one if you want to keep a Yasha Gobi or he's going to end up on the floor. I really like the Rainford's Gobi. Yeah, it's a nice it's size too. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Rainford. They're kind of cool because they just float there. Yeah, they, and they sand sift a little. Yeah, oh, there's, cool. what's behind it? There's another fish. Oh, you guys threw those guys in. There's I didn't, two of them in there. I did not throw anything. <laughs> I think this cleaner shrimp is too big for this thing. Yeah, well, he's grown a lot. He went in as a little one. But him and he cleans uh, the larger clownfish a lot. He so looks, I kind of like him. He's really friendly. He's like, very active. He's really curious all the time. He always comes up watching the fish. But one second, if I put my hand in, he goes right to it. Oh, See? he is not camera shy. No, he's amazing. He's cleaning. I really like him. I think I'm gonna keep him. <laughs> he's cleaning the detritus off Tia's fingers. Yeah. Talk to us about your Ganipora flower pot, Alveopora little garden here. This is my new hot corals. Is trying to collect all the nicest. Get out of here, mine. stupid cleaner. Yeah, I like him. He's cl closing. This one's crazy. The yellow. Yeah, that one's my favorite. Where did that come from? Here. Yeah. I didn't even yeah. notice that. Mark said, oh, your tank's looking a little empty. You should fill it up. So I took all the expensive ones I could find. You've done a great job. Yeah. Oh yeah, didn't I say I'm gonna tell you to put them in and then complain you took all the expensive exactly. ones? Exactly. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I put in um, like a gold torch. It's not gold yet, but it's it's working on it. it needs to color up a little. I think this is what they call the New York shits. Maybe. I mean, New York Knicks. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's gold with cool blue tips on it. What are you doing for cleanup crew in here? I just see the one snail. The algae's gone. Mm, look. I took actually recently took out a couple astras because there was too many, too many so? snails. Yeah. These are nice sand sifting conches. Yeah, these guys are doing great. Great way of keeping your sand bed. Look how clean the sand bed is. Mm -hmm. Pristine. Basically yeah, and I don't white. touch it. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Well, in the rainford scoby, I'm sure helps a little. The mushroom garden is coming in nicely. Yeah. Talk to us. What do we have here? Fire. Fire. Saint Thomas. Slaps. Magic carpet. Magic carpet. Yeah. Slaps, slaps, slaps. My blasto garden. Was, this one wasn't doing so good on the bed. That's the only like save me piece. This Saint there. Thomas is wicked. Yeah. If I could focus, it might be even nicer. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, let's come mm -hmm. around this side. It's almost like three tanks in one. <laughs> you have over here. The Blasto Moose. They're not getting too much love though. They're a little shaded. A little. Talk yeah. to but me. I think they've been doing okay actually. They look this one, all right. This one was dying on the bed and he's doing better now. So. That's better? Yeah, it's better. I know. Oh man. But it's really nice. So I want to save it. It looks really, It looks like it was nice. Yeah. These ones are good. Puffy. Yeah, they're good. Blasto Moose. I think the only ones that are these two that aren't doing amazing. Yeah, there's a little bit of skeleton showing on that one. Yeah. How come? Mm, oh. I've moved it around a lot. There's a Mandarin. 
He got dropped off by a customer because he wasn't eating frozen and he eats frozen. Guys, so, check that out. Our Mandarin eating frozen. You know what? We had someone else actually complain about buying one and it not eating frozen. And then I think it resulted in a bad Google review, but we gave him another fish. They, you know what? They, they're they eating frozen here. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's a thing. Those are nice, those Zoas you got in there. Yeah, so I was really selective about those Zoas. Beautiful. And this is a cocoa worm? Cocoa worm. I love them. I like how you've kind of hidden it. It's so subtle. It's a good spot because there's no light there. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. A little bit of trumpet over here. If you're looking for easy yeah. LPS corals, Blastos. Blastos? Trumpets are easy. Trumpets are incredibly easy. Yeah. My favorite thing that I recently added was a uh, Tropicana. I mean, not see that. I love that one. It was one. hiding in plain sight. Yeah. And Acropora. It was a perfect spot because it's got some space from the torches. If you wonder what we're lighting the tank with, it's actually our little light here. It's the Reef Casa Halo. Oh, whoops, inexpensive. Hey, hey. I know, so I almost knocked it in the water. Oh, and we have also have the VCAs now. So if you have one of these tanks, mm -hmm. little upgrade. If you're looking for one, our friends over at um, Vivid Creative Aquatics have custom made these just for this tank. So it will slip on, comes with the adapter. It's everything you need in one little kit. Those are now uh, available. And this was the light I was talking about, the halo. If you want to stick one over. Um, yeah, it looks really good. It's filling in really, really nicely. I'm not crazy about Aikens, but this one stole my heart. I love this Aikens. So no Aiken garden this or time? I guess, what are they? Micromusin, whatever. You know what? Aiken. Do we do a little, <laughs> we'll do a little flat update while we have the camera out? Yeah, let's do a flat. And we're past six minutes, so if you're still watching, thank you, super fan. Thank you. The, uh, <laughs> the average viewing time for our videos is five minutes and a little bit. That's when most people drop off. I'll show you one little sidetrack because you know I need to in every video. Look at this poor hammer. Not good. I don't know why it died. You know what? I don't know everything. Even though it seems like we know a lot, sometimes corals uh, perish. And it's weird because the rest of them all look really good. So I'm not going to pull my hair out and start changing things. Everything in terms of water quality seems pretty pretty on point, but for whatever reason, something happened and he is no longer with us. The rest of the tank's looking good though. Okay, let's get over to, Dylan has taken charge of what we're calling our flat. This is our new one. They're coming. They have shipped. If you're looking for one, just shoot us an email. They'll be here by, uh, hopefully before Christmas. Six gallon, all in one, Picos, designed by yours truly, the Fragbox team here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking nice. What did we add? An enemy. Just this uh, green bubble tip. That's it? Yeah. Oh, boring. I thought we had more to update you Not guys. Not really. This is turning into a Nem Lagoon. Yeah, I think we're going to nix the Zoas and just do the Nems. Why? Because they look, look at how nice they are. Just Nems. Who doesn't love bubble tips? Well, actually, a lot of people don't maybe like bubble so, tips. Maybe some rock flowers. Oh, another yeah. cocoa worm. What are we doing for fish in here? This hermit is huge. We, we have no idea what species this Who was. Who the hell are you? He's been around forever. So he just keeps moving tank to tank. I love how hairy he is. Yeah. He seems to be reef safe. He's doing good. Huh. Maybe that's why the Zoas aren't doing good. Maybe he's well, eating maybe. it. maybe. I don't know. These ones look good though. Utter Chaos, some Magicians, yeah. some Interstellars. What are we doing for maintenance on this puppy? 100% water change like once a week. Yeah. So yeah. basically we jump in here, drain it, okay. go over there, steal water, fill it back up. What Ninja is that? Turbo. Oh, nice. Check this out. It's like a turbo snail. Except we call them ninja turbos because mm -hmm. the shell is really funky. Yeah, and I think Why there's is he only out of the water? two. Put him well, he, he wanted to be there. He went there. <laughs> we are using the same light with great success over top of this same tank, and then basically nothing for filtration. We have floss. Yeah. A heater. I'm trying to save a mangrove. We're trying to save a mangrove. Yeah. Actually, it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than it did. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. look better at all. Uh, an ATO. Yep. And that's it. Yeah. Basically nothing. Is there carbon in here? No. It's a really, really simple system. There's um, half a uh, polyp lab block. That's it. Yeah. Really, really simple. Over here we have some... And then two fish. Some... There's actually this guy and then there's an I... elongate dotty back in I here. I think that would be the key for a tank like this is really take it easy on the fish. I think one fish. One or, or even none. Or none, yeah. Yeah, none yeah, fish. Yeah, but like one of these guys would be good. This is virtually none. This is pretty well. What do you got to feed yeah. him? Once every couple days? One flake of food. I can't even focus on him. He's so small. Yeah. But it's a captive bred yellow line goby. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice little tank. You did a great job with the rock work. It's cute, yeah. Yeah, it's it, different. It kept getting moved around a little bit, so it's changed. <laughs> I like it. It's uh, great for a desk, office, bedside. Yeah. Six gallons. Coming this year. Amazing. Email us if you want one. I think that's it for the update. We'll talk about this one maybe in another video. Yeah, this uh, one. This fell over 
and got stung. The ras jumped out. Oh, the ras jumped out, but we caught him, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were able to grab him. I think that's it. We're going to wrap up today's video. This was a quick and short update. Please comment below and give us some video ideas. And like I said, we're going to go through it. We're going to read them. And then we're going to pick one and we're going to do a video based on your guys uh, or at least one person's choice. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Great video. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice evening or day or afternoon, wherever you're watching from. And bye-bye.